And Doran here, thought I'd give you a couple of tips for successfully joining our Go to Meaning uh, training session. So the first thing is, is I sent over to you a test link. And when you go to that test link, it's going to take you over to the Citrix Go to Meeting test page. Now what you'll notice is that at the top it simply says uh, go to meeting. As you scroll down you'll see join a test session. And then there's also a link here, get ready for your first meeting. So you could click on that uh, as well. So you'll notice right here is there's a blue button that says join now. So what you can do is you can simply click on that button. Then what it's going to do is it's going to pull up and ask you do you have the software. And if you're on a Mac like I am, you're going to need to choose Open Link. If you don't have the software, it's going to walk you through how to install it, which might require a restart uh, on your PC, or also might require you to go to your IT administrator and get special help or permissions. All right, then uh, once it begins to log you in, it's going to verify the test meeting ID. It's going to bring you to this page, and on this page, it's going to say Audio Selection. And this is where, if you're using your computer, you're going to choose from the drop-down. Do you want your built-in microphone? Or if you have a webcam attached and you want to use the built-in microphone on your webcam, then you would choose that from the drop-down. And then in the output, this is going to be your headset or your speakers. So once you get your headset plugged in, you should be able to click Test Your Sound. And then you're going to hear this. You're going to hear a little chime. And that means that you're, you're hearing it okay, and then you simply are going to click uh, okay. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to be using the speakers on your computer and the microphone on your computer at the same time. That's why either a USB headset or the microphone from your webcam, and you want to plug some headphones into the output or the headphone jack in your computer. You do this because you want to avoid hearing an echo. Okay. Now, if you don't want to use your computer, you can click choose an audio option. It'll give you a choice, computer audio, or you can call in via phone. When you call in via phone, then you can use your cell phone or whatever, but still you want to make sure that you're using a headset uh, as well. Okay. All right. Now, uh, let's go ahead and, and leave, this, leave this meeting, and let me go over and start one. So when you join my meeting, you're going to see this. See my face, you'll see Ryan Dorn, and it'll say join my meeting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start a meeting to show you uh, what the um, GoToMeeting interface looks like. So let me open this link. You're going to see something just a little bit different uh, than what I'm seeing because uh, I'm going to be an administrator. All right, so choose an audio option. So if you choose phone call, it's going to give you a phone number to call. Or if you choose computer audio, then click on that. It's going to give you those two choices. So again, this is where you choose the microphone on your webcam or your built-in microphone. Okay? Then you can choose built-in output, which is going to be your headset or your speakers. So you want to be careful. Don't use your speakers. Click test your sound. Make sure you get a headset or you use your iPhone uh, headset or something along those lines. So let's click OK. Then what you're going to see is you're going to see on the right side of your screen, you're going to see this go to meeting control panel. It's going to pop up. And you'll notice that there is a little orange icon. That will take that and that will minimize that control panel. Okay, so when you click that, if you don't see it, click the orange, and that will pop it back up. Now, you're not going to see everything uh, that I'm seeing, but I'm going to point out the things you, you will see. First of all, here's your audio tab here on the right. So right now you're using computer audio. I'm talking so you can see the fact that I'm talking. Okay, now when I'm talking on your end, you're going to see my name pop up and this other green arrow. Now, if I wanted to choose phone call, meaning I could connect with my phone, click on that. And then that's going to give me options. So here is the dial-in number, the access code, and whatever my PIN is Okay, at that time. Now during the conversation, if you want to talk, you can simply talk. Or you can click and you can chat. You can type a message here. Hello. And then you can send that and that will send that to everybody. Now, how about your web webcam? What we need to do is there are two places. You'll notice that there's a, a camera here. And so you notice the camera is right here. You can see it right here. And so you would click on that webcam option. If you click on the webcam option, then it's going to fire up your webcam. Ta-da! There we are. So there's Ryan in the hotel. Hey! Okay? And so that will tell you. Now you can also then at the top of that GoToMeeting viewer, you can choose 
uh, stop sharing my webcam, hide the webcam, hide my webcam, preferences. So if you've got uh, different things uh, that your webcam can do, you can switch all that here uh, as well. Okay. Now the other places, you'll notice that there's going to be a little attendees area so you can see who's in the meeting. And you should be able to see this as well. There's also a little gray right here on the right side. See where my mouse is? There's a little gray webcam. You can also click there, share my webcam. Okay. You can also then mute or unmute uh, yourself right here. Okay, there's a little icon that looks like a phone or a little microphone, and then you can mute or unmute yourself there. There's also a little audio drop down. So here's the audio drop down. You can mute and unmute yourself there as well. All right, friends, I'm looking forward uh, very much, looking forward to uh, our meeting together, our training together, and so I hope that you will find this tutorial helpful. We'll see you very soon. Take care.